Welcome, y'all. Quick little video here. What do we have here? What is this? Yeah. Nice little barbecue stand. Yeah. What have we got ourselves into? Hmm. Yep. It's a customer's food trailer. Did some modifications for. Yeah, it's a mess in there right now. Hop up in here. Get this other light going. It'll work. So you need some new light fixtures. Light fixtures. You got one and one kind of works when it wants to. But yeah. Nice little mess going on. Alright. The guy who owns this trailer just bought it. Uh, the previous owner did a hack job, moved some things around that weren't supposed to. Now it's not up to code. At least for Indiana, it's not up to code. So he brought it to me to do some fabrication work and move a few things. Like this big gap here. I've already started. There used to be a table right here that came up that probably here. They extended this. And the deep fryer was over more. I've already moved that deep fryer all the way over. And the stove here is not where it's supposed to be. Uh, the stove, to my understanding, what he was telling me, the uh, stove has to be underneath this hood. Yeah. So we're going to move the stove from there over to here. Which means i got to make a custom... Uh, uh, I don't know what the hell you want to call it. A uh, custom rack to mount the stove to. As you can see, the old rack here that the deep fryer is on, I'm going to modify it, shorten it up, uh, and build a new piece here, center piece that bolts in, that the stove will sit on. That way, it'll also free up, like from about here all the way down, free up a lot of room so he can put his hot water heater in. Because he's going to be putting hot water in this place. So that'll help get him up the code. He's paying. So that's always good. Yeah, I'm just working on uh, moving things out of the way. Getting measurements. Trying to see how things would fit. The stove will fit perfectly where it, you know, like it was supposed to be there. The only thing I'll have to do is probably make a little filler gap here. To bring his table right with the stove to fill the gap a little bit, but that's no big deal. That's easy, especially when the the old shelf is sitting right up there. I just cut this piece out of it. But yeah. I figured I'd share with you random side jobs that I do. Yeah. This one's out there. I've never worked on a food trailer. It's it's pretty wild. Yeah, once that stove's mounted, I gotta modify the rack that this is sitting on so this will sit level. Which won't be hard, I gotta just cut one side out and off the rack so it sits down flush. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, just a quick little video of what I'm up to right now. Once this is done, then I'll be hitting the derby cars hard, getting those knocked out. But this one here, you know, he's a good guy. And, you know, it pays well, so. The extra money will go into derby cars, so. Can't help, can't beat that. This will be done within, it'll be done by tomorrow. Getting that moved over, it shouldn't take long. As soon as this rain quits. Yeah. Raining again, pretty hard. But, yeah. I got a friend coming over tonight. He's going to give me a hand tomorrow. And we're going to get this thing knocked out, get it done, and it can get on its way. Whew. I tell you, this trailer's heavy too. I got back, you know, back it in with my truck and I could feel it. It's heavy. A lot heavier than it looks. But, yeah. I'll get another video once it's done so you can see how everything fits, how it's all done. So, until the next one, later y'all.